All right, it is 5.09. We're still listening to the Angry Chicken. Rise of Shadows hype. We're gonna take these Necron Warriors and start turning them into Necron Blade Ones. Welcome to my hobby desk. So we are going to be stealing bits from Sprues and we're gonna take these warriors and make them flayed ones. We're gonna start with the heads. I guess that's still warriors actually. This is the most fiddly part of building the warriors that I noticed. The heads, they don't go on quite the way you think that they would. But uh, one of the great things about plastic glue is um, it's tacky enough to make them stick, but it takes forever to dry so you get some time to adjust. You'll see this come into play much later. But we're just going to pop these heads on, and then we're going to start raiding all the other sprues from the different factions that play in my kill team, and we're going to steal some bladed weapons. So the arms on these Necron Wars are two parts. One is holding the gun, and the other one has uh, no hand, and it slots into a piece of the gun. So what we're going to do is we're either, either going to cut it off of the wrist or carve around the gun, depending on how we want to fit our bladed weapon in. And then we're going to cut the little uh, axie bladey part off the end. We're going to put that on the other arm so that it kind of ends in this little axe choppy piece. We're going to speed through a lot of the cutting and the chopping in the future, but I just wanted to show you a bit of how I was working this. And I would get my files out and file down the pieces just so the surfaces would be easier to glue together. And we're going to do this with most of the pieces that we're using. We're gonna get the other arm off here so you can see what that looks like. And then we're gonna start the process of piecing pieces together. As I've been building the various kill teams for myself and my children, I've been saving bladed weapons off the sprues and we are gonna raid some more. So I have here a combat knife from the Tactical Marines and that's gonna be our first piece. And I think we're just gonna use the hand that's on there. And if we put it in kind of a reverse grip, it will look close enough at a distance that you won't be able to realize, hey, that's a backward Space Marine hand on that Necron. Plastic glue is an interesting substance in that it is tacky, they do hold together, um, but that's not what actually is, what is it, hearing the pieces together. After about 30 minutes, or over the process of 30 minutes, the glue melts the plastic around it, and then when that plastic hardens, it makes like a plastic weld. So there's going to be several times here where I'm holding it for a good 30 seconds to a minute just to get the tackiness enough time to hold the pieces together. And then I'm just going to set it aside. And I'm going to build all the arms as we move across, and then we're going to be able to come back and put them together. We'll have some interesting uh, scenarios there. This is a power sword from the Death Watch sprue. I actually painted it as a practice Xenophage blade before I did the one for my Watch Sergeant. And I think on this one, we're going to keep the hand on the Necron gun, and we're going to cut the sword around the Space Marine hand, and then glue those two bits sandwiched around the Necron hand. And Because I think the, the pieces on the sword are big enough to get a good hold. So we're going to go ahead and give that a shot. Put a little dab of glue underneath the hand and then got my tweezers to get this tiny little bit because there's no way my pudgy fingers were going to handle it. But the glue was tacky enough that it was fairly easy to put on. For the axe piece on this guy, we're actually cutting a longer portion down the uh, shaft of the weapon 
and we're gonna put it alongside the arm and when we do the skin with the green stuff tomorrow we'll kind of wrap some pieces around like he tied it on his stubby little arm we'll do that for this guy and the next guy but we're gonna put them on opposite sides of the arm so we grabbed here a plague marine sprue from the death guard and we're gonna get this axe piece and we're gonna chop the hand off the Necron and use the hand that's on the ax. I especially like how this one came out and I'm excited about seeing how it looks on the finished flayed one. For our fourth and final flayed one, we're going to get a plague knife off that same uh, plague marine sprue. And again, we're going to use the hand on the knife, and it is going to be backwards. And we'll go ahead and use some skin or some texture paste to kind of hide that on the final product. There are eight arms, four that are a mashup between the gun arm on the Necron and a bladed weapon from another sprue, and the other one is the empty arm with the actual piece of the bladed piece of the gun. So now we're just going to kind of mess around with these guys. All these hands are the same, but because of the way that GW makes their minis and their ball and socket joints, it gives us a bit of freedom on how we're going to put these in. So I'm just going to test fit them. I'm going to put some glue in. You're going to see they're going to fall out a bunch, but again, that's the great thing about plastic glue. It takes long to dry. Um, yet it's still tacky enough that it'll hold it in place and you can kind of fiddle with it and if pieces fall out you can put them back uh, I'm gonna leave most of this in there just so you can kind of see how often things fall out and how much I mess with it and The advantages of using plastic glue and some of the fun stuff that you can do with that and with these minis and all the cool bits that come on the sprues I think this piece was the one that I had the hardest time finding good fit for, but eventually there was one that worked for me. That piece fell out and I just left it for a while, but when I went to go back to put it in, the plastic glue was still tacky and um, I just held it for long enough and it stayed. Really like how the ax came together and it just had a really natural over the head pose to it. Really like how this one looks. The plague knife was a little fiddly also, but I just kind of kept sticking it in and spinning it around until I got a good pose with it going behind his head that I liked. Uh, 
On these pieces, the plastic glue didn't have as much time to dry, so the actual blade was still a little wet, so I was just very careful about how I shifted that around, and it was still tacky enough, and it had gone through the process that uh, as long as I didn't wail on it, the piece was going to stay on. I am really happy how these guys came out. I think the bladed weapons look great, the poses look great. So tomorrow when we come back, we're gonna get out the green stuff and we are going to cut out some strips and make some cloaks and masks and uh, ropes out of flesh and uh, do these guys up so that they look as crazy as supposedly they are in the lore. Uh, if you hobbied today, made a video, link in the comments below. As always, I would love to see it. And until I see you guys next time, have a good one.